Hi guys, it's me Sam and welcome to this week's weekly Let's Up. I don't know why, every time I say that I always feel like there should be some kind of, I don't know, tune or something, you know, when you watch like a game show on the TV and they have like the announcement of it starting and then it goes into the, the music bit. But ignore me, I'm having a weird moment. Anyways, yes. Welcome, thank you for watching, and um, this is just me sitting down like I do once a week. I have a nice cup of lemon meringue infused tea from Asda in my You Are Perfect Pretty Cat Kitty Cat Cup. Uh, this tea is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, slurpy, slurpy needed. Anyway, guys, let's begin with how the last week has been. Incredibly bloody busy. We well, sounds weird me saying that, but yeah. Such a busy week. Um, firstly, I mean, Monday it was a bank holiday, so obviously didn't really do all that much except stalk my daughter's flight back home. Uh, she landed about half past seven in the evening. Didn't come home that night because obviously by the time I'd gone out of the airport and this, that, the other, I think it was just easier for her to go back to Jack's and stay the night there. Um, so the, I, I didn't actually get to see Jess until Tuesday, which was very briefly, because on Tuesday, I, I literally spent the entire day in Worcester. So basically any time I did spend with Jess before I left, and then when I got back, I, I enjoyed the most of Anyway, uh, first things first, obviously I've got to show you what she brought me back from Turkey. I love collecting fridge magnets. I do. There's something you didn't know about me, what you do now. I have a thing for fridge magnets and whether it's friends or Jess or whoever, whenever they go on holiday and they say to me, what do you want me to bring you back? I'm like, a fridge magnet, please. Yes. So obviously Jess picked me up fridge magnets. Uh, I think she picked this up. I don't know where she picked it up. She didn't say. But basically, it just features all the near near areas to where she was staying at the, um, the Gold Hotel. So I have a fridge magnet to add to my collection. Something else she picked me up was this. I thought it was some kind of fancy sand. But no, this is pomegranate tea. Now, as we all know, I love tea. Jess knows I love tea. So she thought, oh, mum would like that. Now, with this, obviously you don't make it with hot water. You actually make it with cold water. So it's like a nice fruity drink. I've only used it once because I don't want to use it all just yet. But, oh, it's very thin now. It's very refreshing as well. So I will all take great delight in partaking of using this. Indeed. And the final thing that she picked up for me. Oh, it's so cute. I love cats. As we all know, I have my own equal puddy cat. I am the ultimate crazy cat lady, I guess you could say. Or just so this. And she went, oh my God, I have to get that for my mum. <laughs> Look at it. How freaking adorable is that? Now, well, Jess was in Turkey. Her and Jack, actually, she said they were everywhere. They're all over Turkey. They have cat orphanages. And you can go to these orphanages, orphanages, sorry, and, and visit these cats and love them and stroke them and love them a bit more and... I'm going to Turkey just for that, you know, guys. I mean, she's got videos and um, it's like little baby kittens and mummy cats looking after the baby kittens and mummy cats that are pregnant and, oh, my God, it'd be in the element there. But yeah, she saw that and she just thought, oh, my God, my mum would love that. So that's my favourite present that she bought me back. So Tuesday morning was more really of a really quick catch up and a chat and, you know, her telling me about all the stuff that she's been doing and 
I then had to leave her on a tod. Uh, I had to leave her just after 11, catch the bus down to Worcester, which takes about 45, 50 minutes to get there. The trip down there was interesting because I, I was literally, ch well, my ear was chewed off by this little old lady all the way there. Um, bless her, she obviously enjoyed my company. She commented on my top as well, a nice red top that day. Um, I had my hair down. It's a rarity. Uh, she thought I was Italian. I was like, no, Brummy born and bred love, you know. So, um, yeah, that was interesting. I had a quick look around the city and then obviously had to be at Hayes Recruitment for one o'clock to meet with Owen. Was there for about an hour basically discussing this uh, job that he wants me to go for at TTC. Uh, I'm going to discuss that a little bit further on. But, um, basically, it was just more of an insight to me as well. I would see what kind of person I am, what I've done previously. Um, yeah, interesting. After leaving there, I then had to run all the way to the other side of Worcester to go to CY Resourcing to meet with Lauren, uh, fully finish registering with them. Uh, I suppose that, you know, her telling me about this job, but a little bit more that she wants me to go for, uh, which is a, a company called Safety Technology International. They're actually based just down the road from me, so very ideal somewhere close by for me to walk to, because obviously I, I can't really walk all that far anymore. Um, the lady that will be doing the interview, she's actually, well, she's back now, but she was actually at an exhibition in the Philippines. Uh, they do a lot of that. They go abroad a lot to exhibitions. I mean, Lon was telling me his chances are I could end up going to places like Dubai with them and stuff like that. And I'm like, yes, please. So, yeah, once this woman's back in the office and everything, Lon is going to get in touch with her and sort out an interview for me with her. Uh, after leaving there, I then went back into the actual city. I had a look around the shops, treated myself some bits and bobs in Primark. If you've watched my Primark haul, then you'll see what I've bought from there. Wasn't a great amount, but what I did get, I, I'm happy to have. If you haven't watched that video, then you can go and check it out after this one. Um, I think I got home just after five. Um, when I got here... My dad was here, because obviously he'd asked her to pick up some cigarettes and duty free, and that's when he'd come to the collect, I guess you could say. Um, and then and she was gone by half seven, because Jack and me picked her up, and obviously she stays at his overnight, and it was all right. He gave me a chance to sit down and chill out and relax, because it had been quite a busy, busy day, you know, you know, I haven't really been used to going out for that length of time. And then Wednesday was my interview at Taps UK. Interview was planned for 11 o'clock and I left here just before 10 o'clock. I originally wanted to allow myself at least an hour to be able to walk there because obviously I can't walk very fast. Now when I used to work at Image, it used to take me about 40, 45 minutes to walk there. But I was fit and I was thin. And I didn't have a busted back and I didn't have busted knees. Things have changed since then. So I thought if I give myself at least an hour, so that's 15 minutes extra to walk there, should be all right. So anyway, I got there nice and early. I was quite impressed with myself. And then I was made to wait an hour. So that knocked me off because it was raining that morning. So I bought there in the rain. The bottom of my trousers were bloody wet, so I was pissed off about that. And then to be made to wait an hour didn't impress me at all. Now, whenever I meet anyone new in a professional capacity, or any capacity really, I like to stand up and offer my hand out to shake hands and say hello. And she just completely dismissed it. So that got me back up even more. Interview was about 20, 25 minutes. Luckily, by the time I got out of there, uh, gosh, I literally ran out of there. Uh, the rain had stopped, so at least I didn't have to walk back in the rain. But by the time I got back, I was just absolutely done in. Um, that was a long walk. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't collapse and curl up into a ball in a, under a hedge in a field on the way back. 
Uh, first day, uh, not a lot really. Popped into town, I had to go to the job centre in Sinai. I did a little bit of shopping while I was down there. Um, I was meant to do my conspiracy theory, um, but obviously not really having the time to sit down and put it all together properly. I chose not to, and I do plan to do it this week coming, but I will explain a little bit further on as you won't see the nights that are angry about this, but yeah, I didn't see this coming myself. Uh, also on Thursday, Owen called me to tell me that TTC were interested in interviewing me this Wednesday coming, so I was like, ooh, ooh, okay. And then I did some more digging into the company. Now I'm going to give her and it's due. He did a great job of convincing me that this job at TTC would be absolutely perfect for me. And he had literally sold it to me. He had. Until I did a bit of digging into the company, it quickly dawned on me that what they're going to be opening up here in Bromsgrove is going to be a call centre. And we're going to be doing the cold calling because it's a telemarketing executive role. And that's what basically you do. I've always said that I didn't want to ever work in a call centre ever again. A little bit later on after that, I was doing some job seeking. You know, I'm still going to apply for other jobs because, you know, shit happens. And I actually came across their own advert for the same job, same position, here in Bromsgrove, where they're going to be opening up the, yeah. And I saw how much they were offering to pay. This was something Owen had never actually discussed with me. He'd asked me what I was looking for, and I said between 18 and 22k a year. They would be willing to pay between 15 and 18, dependent on experience. That did not impress me. So not only have I been duped in some I came to the conclusion that this is not going to end. I've basically I say, informed and I, I've changed my mind and I'm not interested in this position after all. So um, I'm, not, I'm not going for that one, guys. You know, I've, I've still got other options. You know, I'm, London's going to sort me out an interview with the Safety Technology Place. And as well as that, and this moves me on to Friday now. Um, I applied for a job working as a receptionist at one of our local doctor's surgeries kind of about three or four weeks ago now. And I just assumed that application wasn't successful until their practice manager called me on Friday afternoon and she's invited me for an interview with herself at half past nine on Wednesday morning. I am so frigging over the moon about this. This is something... And that sounds weird, but I've always wanted to work in a doctor's surgery. Now, many centuries ago, while I was still in school, I actually did work experience as a doctor's surgery. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I loved working with the public, you know, which, which was something I really, really did enjoy doing. When I was working with Logic, for example, you know, dealing with public calling this in, placing the orders, or dealing with the complaints or the inquiries. I just loved helping people that's the kind of person i i am i love to help other people i'm very empathic i love you know I, i'm the kind of person that will sit there and listen to someone telling me about shit happening in their life and basically being a, a friendly shoulder to cry on um when i think back to my avon days you know the fact that i was going out every day and knocking on people's introducing that's the kind of i am and I basically sold my salvation for the receptionist position, so it worked. It's got me a job interview, so I'm buzzing about it, guys. I really, really am. And as well as that, I must have from Preston at Taps UK, because they have also asked me for a second interview this Tuesday coming, and this time I get to meet the managing director. Ooh. Now the thing is guys, with this job at Taps UK, I don't think it's one that I want to accept. See, it's only part time, it's 24 hours a week, which is no good to me. I need a full time, 37.5 hours a week job. Plus the wage isn't too great either. And 
I only applied for it because at the time I was just desperate for work, but now with all these interviews starting to come in, it's like, do I hold out a little bit longer until I find the perfect job for me? Instead of taking a job that's going to be shit, and then I'm going to end up hating, and then wanting to walk away from. I don't want it to be another Judd Medical. I just don't want to go down that route ever again. So yeah, this week, well, should I say next week, I've got another two job interviews. So, um, and it's, if Lauren sorts me out, it's one that's safety in technology, then that's free. So things are picking up, things are looking good. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Um, so basically this weekend, well, yesterday, um, didn't really do much, stayed at home, mowed my front garden, made it look all pretty again. And today's just been my typical Sunday, kick back. Blitz the house, watch YouTube videos. I've got a thing for the tunes. Before recording this, I sat down for an hour and just watched some documentary about Hamden and uh, the christening of Emily Apeswood and I've just gone tube bonkers basically. So um anyway, let's move on to next week. What have I got planned? Monday, not a bloody lot, but I do plan to record and upload my my favourites to keep the eyes peeled for that. Tuesday, I have my second interview at TAPS UK at 11 o'clock, which is the same time. So, at least it won't be raining. I've checked the weather. It's all good. Um, so, by the time I get back from there, I'm, I'm going to be dead again. Wednesday, I've got my job interview at the doctor's surgery at half past nine in the morning. I'll catch the bus into town with Jess because she normally get the 840 bus into town so I'll catch the bus with her and then take a slow walk up to the doctor's surgery. I do also be plan well hoping to do some plant well research into this conspiracy theory that I keep meaning to do and I just haven't had a chance to do it. I mean if the push comes to shove and I haven't got time to do it next week or should, yeah this week I mean um then I can only but apologise. It's not that I don't plan to do this conspiracy theory because I do plan to do it. It's just finding the time to actually work on it and prepare the research and, you know, record it at the same time. So if I don't get around to doing it, my apologies, but I will be doing it, I promise, at some point. Just don't know when. Um, Thursday, I think I'm going to go shopping that day. Friday... Um, I haven't really got anything planned, this is why I'm hoping I can still record this conspiracy theory if I've got the time to sit down and do the research and whatnot, and then, if I do, then obviously I'll upload it on on that day. Um, I forgot about you, I forgot about this one. Oof. <laughs> Quick slip of tea needed. Right, Saturday, um, well I'd like to call it an interview, but it's not. I applied for a job in a contact centre over in Reach with the NHS and it was another job I never expected to hear about from, but I did. And they've invited me to attend an assessment day on Saturday. And if I'm successful with that assessment day, then they will invite me back through the actual interview over on the 13th or 14th of this month. It's going to be a long day. The assessment day starts at 9 o'clock in the morning and finishes at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm basically going to have to leave here about half past 7 in the morning because um, if I get a later bus, I'm not going to get them in time. So before that, the surface around here is so shite. It really, really is. So, yeah, I've got to leave here just before half past 7 because the bus stop to catch the bus to reach. It's literally a three-minute walk from my house. Uh, bus comes at half past seven, takes about half an hour to get there. So I'll probably have a little bit of a walk around the town centre and then take a quick, well, slowish walk down there. I'm going to get there about 15 minutes before um, nine o'clock. That way we can be shown around the actual contact centre, get introduced to the workers that already work there. And then I, I'd love to tell you what's going to happen, but I don't know. That will give me something to talk about next week and me next weekly catch up, which of course I will next Sunday. 
and, and, and that's what I've got to look forward to next week. So it's going to be a, another bloody busy week. Hence why I was saying, if I don't get this conspiracy theory done, this is why. And I apologise. I think I've apologised about three times now, but it's not something I intentionally meant to happen. But it has happened. Anyway, we've got that out of the way. Now, I like what I've been doing over the last few weeks. Are, I'm just going to quickly run through what meals I've got planned for next week. I'm not going to do all three meals for the day because it's just too long-winded. And I'm sure you guys don't really need to know what I'm eating all the time. So it's just going to be the evening meals. Right, Monday we're going to have sweet potato wedgies, lemon salmon with black pepper, the ones that I picked up from Iceland. We're also going to have some broccoli and sweet corn as the fresh to go with it. Tuesday we're going to have sweet potato fritters that I picked up in the week. Get some beef kebabs that I also picked up from Asda a few weeks ago that were in the freezer and probably do some corn on the cob to go with it or some salad, something like that. Wednesday I'm going to do curry with rice or I might get out, you know, one of those little kind of like street market curry things that I picked up from, from Iceland, the four to five pounds. I may may use those and cook, well, some of them, and cook them. I mean, just will have rice. I can't have white rice. I'm, I'm not allowed to have white rice on this diet, so um, I might just do myself some fresh with it instead. Thursday, I'm going to do sweet potato fries. I'm eating a lot of sweet potato this week. Um, I'm going to have one of my veggie burgers, and I'll probably do just a meat one, and have some salad to go with it. Friday, going to do sweet potato rice. <laughs> the salad's going to be a lot of sweet potato. Mm. I'm going to make myself some Nando's chicken and have some broccoli with it. And I say to me, chances are Jessica won't be here for dinner that night because she's never here for dinner on a Friday night. And then obviously I won't see her all over the weekend. So for the next two days, what I'll be cooking will basically just be for me. Um, I'm going to have half a pizza with some salad when I get back on Saturday because I was just going to think I'm, I'm going to be shattered and I, I won't be wanting to cook much so uh, I'm going to get one of those pizzas I've got in my freeze and I've had now for God, a good few weeks now that I've bought for me and Jeff from Iceland and we just never got around to eating them so I'll, I'll cook one of them off for me and what I'm going to do is have half and then I have the other half on Sunday for my lunch just because I that's what I want to do. And then and then Sunday I think I'll just do a usual Sunday roast. I have a gammon or a beef joint that I actually picked up in the week. But I, I don't know if I did I show you it? I think I did. I don't think I did actually. No I didn't. It was when I went shopping but I leaped into Asda after I'd been at the job centre on Thursday. Uh, no I didn't record that but yeah I picked up a roast um a beef joint Mm. So yeah, why use that? So I might pick up a gammon joint when I go shopping in the week. I mean tonight I was meant to be doing a roast chicken joint and I didn't bother getting one. And then I thought well, I could get some chicken breasts out. But now I, I don't even feel like having a Sunday roast today. It's just it's too warm for a Sunday roast, so I'll probably just chuck something together. I don't know. Yeah, well I'll we'll find something. And, and that's it. That's, that's basically everything I've, I've got planned for next week. So that, that'll be my weekly catch-up done and dusted, guys. I wanted to look like a pineapple today, but it just went wrong. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's everything, guys. Um, I'd like to say I'm doing really well with my diet, but you know what? I haven't lost any weight, you know. I can hear some of you now going, well, I'm not surprised with all the shit you keep buying still. And you're right, I keep saying um, I need to hit healthy and then I end up buying stuff that isn't healthy, like, you know, chocolate ice creams and stuff like that. So I need to get a bit more strict with myself, guys, and that is something I plan to start as of tomorrow. I um, I weighed myself yesterday and I haven't lost weight. I'd gained weight and that did it for me. 
And that's it guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it as usual, if you did, please do remember to give this a thumbs up, and to whoever my hater is, thank you so much for the thumbs downs that you've been giving me, really, really appreciate it. Uh, as usual guys, if you'd like to leave me a comment, please do so by leaving it down below, and if you'd like to see more of me, or this is the first time you've ever seen me, and you'd like to see more of me, hit that subscribe button and come enjoy my lovely bunch of nuttets that love watching me even my hater uh, and that's it guys i have uh, i've had enough now i'm gonna go i'm gonna finish off my tea i'll load this for you guys to watch and and work out what i'm gonna have for my dinner tonight so do take care of yourselves i'll see you all very very soon and until then have a fedeci my darlings <laughs>